is Saturday. We got back from getting Carson's haircut. It was super long and needed a trim. And Roger is outside um, packing down some of the dirt and stuff. There's Effie, she can't stay off the TV and YouTube. Um, he's outside packing down some of the dirt that's gonna be um, where the porch is, where he's getting that area ready, just so it'll be ready for concrete. Um, I am gonna work this morning. Carson, I think, is gonna go take care of some deer corn feeders and stuff like that. Colin's gotta dig a little bit in some of those rocks and find a pipe for Roger and put him to work. So I'm gonna, yeah, you are. So I'm gonna work and put um, some paper, tape and paper over this, um, these windows and over the brick so that I can get busy spray painting this. I'm also gonna check my dining room chairs to make sure that they don't need another coat of paint on it. It's supposed to get up to almost 70 degrees today. So I am hoping to um, be able to get some more painting and get those chairs completely finished. And I'm hoping to get our dining room table started today. So my plan today is to try to get this taped and sprayed, all this trim sprayed with the sprayer. The ceiling is finished in here. And once I get the, the trim and all this wood sprayed, which is really not a lot, taping the windows up is gonna take the longest just to protect them. Once I get all this done, then we can do the floor. And my kids have asked me if one, they've said it one time this week, they've said it half a dozen times, I really just want a dining room back. We are that family that typically cooks a lot and sits around and eats as a family probably 90% of the time. So our kids have eaten here in the living room in front of the TV over the last couple of weeks and they're kind of sick of it, which I'm glad. I'm glad that they bring it back and want us to sit around and have a place to sit. I think that's super important um, to do. And so anyway, Matt's out on the farm doing some stuff. I think he had to take trash this morning and he's going to castrate a piglet. Um, and gonna take that other pig back today, I think today. And um, anyway, so we just got some stuff around the farm to do and then I'm gonna be working on this and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, me and Effie may go shopping this evening after it gets dark. She went to try to find her some nice clothes to wear yesterday to go to a birthday party and bless her heart, she's just like me. The majority of stuff in her closet is like sweats and t-shirts and she's growing like a weed. So the cute clothes that she had, oh, are all too small. So she cleaned out her shoe closet yesterday and probably about five or six really, really nice pair of shoes in there that are too small now. So she's a little bit of a wardrobe and I know it's Christmas time, um, but we are probably gonna take, I'm gonna probably try to take her and do a little bit of shopping maybe this evening. Anyway, that's what we got on the agenda for right now. Right, Cole? Mm-hmm. Yep. My best surprise ever. But he keeps me on my toes on a daily basis. <laughs> it just kicked me. Mm -hmm. So we got our table out. It was a quite an ordeal to get it out of the house. I had to take a door off. Sorry, I didn't film that. But um, so on the bottom side here, I mean, all the legs and things are in really good shape. Um, but I'm going to rough this up some with sandpaper, and then we're going to oil it down with a special oil that a friend of mine told me about. Some of these screws and stuff you can tell I've backed out. We're going to get those in there. Tighten up the screws here. Some of these legs are a little bit loose, and here over time this has pulled out a little bit so i'm going to get some wood glue and get these back together and kind of cinch these together so that it's not wiggly i think this one side is a little bit more wiggly than the other side so just going to kind of tighten this up getting a little bit of spider webs and stuff out of here and clean it up and then i'll probably start hand sanding this bottom part i'll get that today i'll try to we'll see what time we have to leave and what time i get stuff done so just trying to get a few things accomplished today because i know tomorrow i've got a couple other things going on too so before shot of the bottom of the table anyway so i got my chairs here i gotta put wax on them today oh this is a bag of sawdust i'm gonna learn i'm gonna go tomorrow and learn how to make a little bit heavy <laughs> how to make um fire starters out of sawdust and paraffin wax so somebody's gonna teach me that. I'm super excited. Here's the front part of this, we have a couple of lines we've gotta have access to, the sewer line and then the gray water line. So he packed a bunch of this down. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna rain again this afternoon. So that's not fun when you're trying to get something ready to pour concrete. So anyway, but he's gone to get some um, like crush, like M10 or granite and that kind of stuff to, to put out there. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I've just got some Murphy's oil soap and some water. 
a little bit of water, but I'm just cleaning this off. So I did find some wood glue. So I am going to, Effie's going over to get the right um, drill, drill bit, or not drill bit, but screwdriver bit to go in the drill so that I can tighten these up. It's an old flathead, you know, that way back, whatever that's all they ever used as flatheads. All right, I'm gonna get busy putting some wax on these chairs. Roger's back with that rock. All right, Carson can wax these chairs. I'm gonna go inside and be taping up these windows. And um, if he's wanting to go shopping, but I'm not going until it's almost dark because I gotta have the daylight. So I'm going to be taping up these windows so I can feel like I get something accomplished. Y'all, that is one ever-loving job. I've probably been in here, um, it's almost four o'clock. I've probably been in here for over three hours putting up. So it won't take this long, that long to spray this room. Now I might have to spray it a couple of different times, but it won't take this long to spray, <laughs> to spray this room. So definitely takes longer for prep than it does for the actual painting. But the floor is ready, I've seen it, I've wiped down, make sure there's no dust on any of the trim or anything like that. So I am about to bring those, the chairs inside. Carson put wax on them earlier. I'm gonna plan on buffing them hopefully this evening too, um, at least tomorrow and trying to get those covered. And we'll see if we can get this painted. Probably brew a pot of coffee and stay up kind of late and try to get all this painted tonight before I go to bed. Still got this drop cloth here kind of tied up. So what I'll do is I'll drop that cloth when I get ready to paint so that all that will stay out of here. And then um, paint it a couple of times. It'll be like a semi-gloss white, just like all my other trim is. And once that's all done, we'll rip that paper off, which will take all oh, of about five minutes. There's Effie, always coming when the camera's on. So it'll take probably 10 minutes to rip all that paper down. It took me over three hours to put it up. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm coming with this crazy Fruit Loop to the mall. <laughs> I did. To the mall. She's a little bit hyper. She had a little bit of sweet tea. What? I was not the one hyper. When they brought her home from the birthday party last night, the dad of the little girl said, do y'all ever let her talk? <laughs> <laughs> so we're coming here. we got to do a little bit of shopping for her. So. Dillard's. Dillard's. One of my favorites, actually. Found her a blue jean skirt and a sweater. Don't take it out now. And a sweater. She just needs a few regular clothes. Probably can't hear us so, that well. We're gonna poke on along. Shopping. Let's see what we can get into. Look at this. <laughs> Alright, so our mall's not super huge. So we are headed out. We might gonna... come back. Well, Effie found one sweater she really, really likes up at Dillard's, but it would take the rest of her money, which Matt gladly, she was complaining, or she was telling Matt last night that she didn't have many regular clothes so matt fun. matt took some of his cash which he rarely has yeah. and handed her a hundred dollars told her not to tell the boys though so, yeah. so and told her to go shopping so that's what we're doing we're spending her money so she don't have a ton oh she's got she's got she spent how much money did you spend like 35 dollars at yeah. children's place so that she spent, $60 spent about 65 dollars so i think we're gonna drive over to um We've got a Gap, an Old Navy. We got a TJ Maxx over there. I told her sometimes just for, you know, here and there. Yeah, I want some like dressy clothes, I mean, blouses and stuff. She could find some of those I at want... a good deal at TJ Maxx. Yeah, I want some whipped knees, but I don't want them to be like too ripped when they show my thighs. <laughs> yeah, she wants. I just want some whipped on the knees and below. <laughs> 
She wants some ripped jeans, but I won't let her get the ones that's like. Oh my gosh, we so we were going ripped by this all store, over the and place. And they were literally they were. In my day, ripped jeans were what you did after you wore them out. <laughs> they just had a hole in them, and your mama said it ain't time for new jeans yet. All right, she's a happy camper. I gotta find my car. I never know where I park. Pull my mask ah, where did I park? I'm so bad. It's called. Oh, we're way over here. <laughs> That's what happens when you're getting old. You forget where you're parking. All right, so they're all in there watching a movie. So I don't want to crank up my big sprayer. So I've got my foam roller and a new brush. And I'm going to work on this brush and roll it for now. Everything is covered, but I really, really want to get a coat of this on tonight. So I'm just going to go ahead and work. That's gonna be a wrap for Saturday, for this Saturday night. I've got one coat of paint all the way around on all the trim around here. Um, Ceiling's already painted, <clears throat> so turn the light off. So it will definitely need, it will definitely need another coat. Although a lot of it looks great because it was already white and then the, the trim was already primed. But it does need another coat nonetheless. And so, a um, few things going on tomorrow. I'm gonna plan on getting up super early and trying to get a second coat on this. This probably took me mm, probably an hour to do it. I ended up brushing it and rolling it just because the kids and Matt at the time were watching a movie and I didn't want to crank up my sprayer. And now that I've already done that, I might as well just do it again. So probably an hour if I can get up early in the morning to do that, and that'll dry. And then I told Matt my plan is to, to vacuum, get all this up off the floor vacuum the floor really good and maybe spray the stain on it um, so I could go ahead and spray the stain it's got to soak in and it's got to dry and then you have to vacuum everything and then you have to polyurethane it so I feel like I can get that done tomorrow I feel like I can I also want to get my dining room table ready so that we can actually have Christmas dinner we didn't have Thanksgiving dinner. we had Thanksgiving dinner on our back porch on the big picnic table so Christmas dinner I'd really like to have in here and all of our kids like I told you this morning are they're ready to have a table to sit around again which makes my heart a little happy um so anyway do that and then tomorrow evening I am planning on going over to learn how to make this fire starters which I told you about that so um hopefully I can get this done I'm hoping that maybe I can crank up the paint sprayer and get a coat of paint on the bottom of my table um if I could go ahead and get that painted with two or three coats tomorrow then the table I could finish through the week inside um, and it would be fine. Um, or even under the garage, it wouldn't matter about weather. But a lot of times I can't get out there and paint because it's dark, it's cold, it's raining. Um, but if but that table would then be under shelter and I wouldn't have to paint anything else. Everything else would be done by hand. So I don't know, we'll see. I always have high expectations. And then of course I've got to clean my chandelier, which is gonna take a minute and then clean all the crystals and get that Hung. So this ceiling panel will come down and our chandelier will go in here. So Christmas dinner we'll have in here. Uh, again, you know how I am. I always have all these plans and I never get as much done as I want to, but it is what it is. Um, so we'll work like crazy. I'll set my alarm early. We'll see if I can get myself out of bed and get started as early as I want to. Meanwhile, I'm fixing to go shower and get to bed. See you tomorrow. We're back at it this morning. Apparently getting up early don't mean the same thing to me that it, um, that it may be used to. So I didn't get up <laughs> near as early as I wanted to. I already started putting the second coat on here. I'm going to try to get this done, and then I'm going to try to get a couple of coats, or at least the first coat on the bottom of my table. Um, see how far we can get with that today. Um, Roger's back at it this morning, working on the area where the concrete's going to go. And these boys and kids are about to get started doing a little bit of tidying up. Okay, so I got two coats of paint on all the trim. So now I'm gonna start pulling some of this stuff up off the floor to get it ready to start cleaning the floor to put the stain on. The floor has to be super duper clean and I also have a cleaning solution I'm gonna clean it with before we start putting on any stain. It's a TSP cleaning solution. So I'm gonna sweep it all really good, clean it really good, let it dry, then it should be ready for stain today. All right, I wasn't planning on this being the end, but this is gonna be the end of this video because as I stain my concrete floors, there's just so much content left and I know that it would be an unbelievably long video 
that would be hard to make time to watch. So this is going to be the end. Come back for part two tomorrow.